Sir Jim Ratcliffe has been uh, touring around his new domain and looking at all the offices and various mm. bits and pieces of Manchester United setup. And in some cases, he's not been impressed by what he's seen. All right. Um, he sent out an email that apparently hasn't gone down well in some departments. Morale has been affected by okay. this email from the boss. I'll just give you a flavour of it. Um, I'm afraid I was um, struck in many places by a high degree of untidiness. Mm. So he's had a look, walk around the office. Walk around it, OK. Um, in particular, the IT department, which frankly was a disgrace. Oh. Wow, what are they doing in the IT department? <laughs> Is it all like spent pot noodle containers and stuff? Just sat down there. And uh, the dressing rooms, the under-18s and under-21s, were not much better. Right. Uh, these standards would not come close to what we'd expect at Ineos, and we are a chemical company. Well, to be honest, Jim, I don't think I want a chemical company having sort of spillages all over the floor of the IT. I expect quite high standards yeah. at a chemical company. Oh, God. Just all yeah. careful of that. Yeah, it's just a toxic. <laughs> just, yeah, just a toxic. just some acid. Don't yeah, worry about don't, it. Just, it's fine. Don't, just step round it. Put the old yeah. Get some sawdust down. Well, the sawdust on fire. <laughs> so, uh, so he said, yeah, we are Manchester United is an elite sporting yeah. organisation. Now, I will be grateful in future if we adopt the proper standards of housekeeping everywhere. So apparently yeah. it hasn't gone down well. well he's gone in root and bright. He's gone in very business, isn't he? Yes, he? well, that's what he does. He gets, he gets on the old shop floor, gets down in the weeds. So we're quite interested to know about um, your your brushes with the management. Maybe you got one of those emails. Yeah. Maybe it's yeah. your Sir Jim equivalents and how you, how you dealt with it. Yeah. Because, I mean, it is... I, mean, I once got sacked from a temp job for writing the, uh, an address wrong. Right. On an envelope. They said, that's not the standard we require. Thank you very much. Off wow. we go. Well, well, that, that was it. Really? Just let, just, go. just let go for that. Was it really wrong address? No, not that wrong. Just a couple of letters? Not, not that wrong, but, you know, just... just that, but they were like, that's... We, we, uh, we have the highest of all standards. I mean, I can imagine it was something else. I mean... They probably caught it's, me it's just a, surfing the internet for five hours. <laughs> Isn't it a contradiction in terms that they had, they had the very, very high standards, yet they took you on as a temp? <laughs> exactly. They hadn't thought that there, through, Exactly, exactly. There we well, are. what did you exactly. expect? If you <laughs> take me on, what do you expect? I'm on six pound an hour. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be shoddy, isn't it? And it's going to be wrong. The minute you take me on, you've dropped below those high standards. So I actually blame you. Best cheese and pickle. I'm good at that, Paul. So we'll yeah, find okay. out that tonight. Right. You see, if they kept you on, maybe the, the Sarnia Awards wouldn't exactly. have... The Sammies, someone else. Sorry, the Sam- the, Leroy, I'm aware. the Leroy Sarnia Awards. Thanks for that. I'm, I'm aware. <laughs> I'm aware of the Sammies because uh, the Football Writers Association dinner was moved into a smaller room oh, yeah. to accommodate the Sammies one year. It's a big gig. So what's more, I mean, with respect to everybody going to the Sammies, not to you, Charlie, what's more important, crowning the footballer of the year yeah. in this country or uh, best pre-packed sandwich best, of the year? Best sandwich all day long, Paul. Okay. All day long. I wouldn't expect you to say anything that's else. The working man. And woman, that's Paul. it. That's, yeah, that's in, true. In, that's you know, fair enough. So um, a lot of these coming in for Charlie that might get done uh, tonight. Uh, Seb? Platter. That's that's a lot set, of sandwiches. Set platter. That's nice. Set yeah, platter. Um, nice. Egg and Ryan Cresswell. They're, I said Kerry, the Arsenal fan. These are all for Charlie. I don't want anything to do with no, it. Okay, don't. Need, okay. Um, but we're interested in those uh, memos from the gaffer. What about the game last night, Charlie? Oh, we, we'll come on to this a little sense, bit later. What? What a! I, I will say I was watching both. I watched you watch Oxford o- Peterborough. Yeah. Um, on my phone, mm. and I had the uh, the Champions League on my on my telly. Yeah. yeah. They were. But, but we, what, different games, obviously, yeah. different different level of game. But the the Champions League game was yeah. just so exciting. I think it's been a brilliant Champions yeah. League. There's not been a duff game, especially quarterfinals the, onwards. The quality, I just it struck me. I you know I watch Premier League football every week, so I get spoiled. Yeah, of course. Um, but just the, the the you know the lack of unforced errors, the quality, yeah. the pace of it all, yeah. the passing, and you know I, I can, why there, when there isn't a, an error like Neuer. Yeah, sort of giving them, the ball, really giving, good giving them the ball back basically to have another go. I'd actually said while I was watching it, I've just uh, my wife was watching the game. She she kind of because Harry Kane and Dyer are playing, she's sort of half interested. Yeah, and I said, Neuer, he never makes a mistake. And yeah, yeah. what does he do? <laughs> there he is, five yeah, yeah. minutes later. But, but I thought at one point but, Eric Dyer's going to win the going to win the Champions League. It's going to be amazing. But I'm just I did think like you watching non-league football, watching yeah. National League South football. Yeah. I mean, the drop off for me, I can see a I can see a step up between what was out there last night and watch I'm watching in the Premier League most weeks unless City come to play and they're up yeah. for it. But um, if you're watching National oh, League it's South... It's a different game, Paul. Yeah. It's a different game. It's a different game. Yeah. It's like suddenly watching AI football. Yeah. It's like no. suddenly watching no. robots play. Everything's perfect. You yeah. go, well, he'll never get to that. Oh, he's got to it! Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you can't believe it. So it sort of makes it better. 
You know, but the, what the you standard prefer? is... Um, I mean, oh, you've got skin in the game, no, otherwise. I, 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 yeah. I, I prefer lower league football. Yeah. I like mistakes. Yeah. I think... You like uh, the ball in the air. You like head tennis. I think beauty is in the imperfection. You like and a I'm pass like, going over everybody's head yeah, straight. Yeah, I love that. Touch. Yeah. I love that. Because there's yeah. more, there's more, there's more yeah. sort of happening. I've not you been know. a snob about it. I just think it, it's a no. massive... It's, it's, it's such it's a, a different, different experience. You, you can't compare the two. Yeah. You cannot compare the two. It's a completely different... Not sport, but, but yeah, the end, different game. The referee you know. at the end. Everybody's oh, bra- blaming the lino, but it was down to Marciniak, the ref, wasn't yeah. it? He, if he, once he'd blown his whistle, that was it. But oh. taking off Kane, taking off Kane ta- that was well, a, ta- well, we, terrible, I mean, terrible he's decision. He's got a bad back. He had, his yeah, back but, was in spasm. But what's he saving it for? What you say? Uh, what, well, I mean, I don't what think is, it's a matter of is, saving yourself for anything when your back's in spasm. He oh, couldn't carry on, yeah. apparently. I mean, yeah, look, told Tuchel him, took... He's, he's told him to I was say listening that. to the sports bar last night, and Tuchel took all the heat, understandably, but you, he's told him to say that. Yeah, well, maybe. <laughs> I mean, I, no, I think he has. We should let Harry Kane come out yeah, and have his say, but uh, that was Tuchel's excuse, anyway, as to why he took it. It did seem mad, you're right, and Musiala, although he'd just gone down, hadn't he, at that point, so... It just seemed like a bad, panicky decision. We're for the from two court there, and also from the unfortunately the ref and the and, yeah. the, and the lino for that potential goal. You know that was uh, all a bit of a mess. Paul Hawksby and Andy Jacobs, Monday to Friday afternoons, one till four, on AM, on DAB, via the Talksport app, and on your smart speaker. Talksport.